Hello, people. It's Poet, and we're playing The Long Dark. This is a survival... Well, just a survival game, I guess. We are in a sandboxy world, but I don't know exactly how sandboxy it is. Oh, look at that. I can actually see my footsteps. And they walk in the proper direction. Oh, that... Little details, you know? I love the little details. But look at how gorgeous this game is! How clean the interface is. All you got is a tiny dot in the middle. Did I just hear howling? Hold on. I have my audio set quite low. I'm going to turn it up. Okay, now I definitely know that that was howling. So what happened is a geomagnetic disaster hit the Earth. Somehow. The tectonic plates shifted. And the core dropped temperature. I don't know what. But I guess we just have to kind of survive. And apparently it's really difficult to survive. Um, oh, an energy Best bar. be prepared for anything. Yeah. Chocolate, nuts, healthy stuff. I can space bar to eat it, take it. Do I have like a... Okay, so here's my general state of well-being. Hunger, I'm pretty hungry. Cold, I'm pretty cold. Fatigue, not at all. Thirst, not really at all. Um, and this is, I guess, where I can access all my different things. You have survived for 28 minutes? What? Oh, man, the minutes are flying by. Um, I'll take it. I will? Newsprint roll. Can be used as Tinder. Okay, yeah. Of course it can. Searching plastic container. Empty. Oh, this is so cool! Can I sleep? I guess if my fatigue was high enough, I probably would want to. But I get to, like, look around and see if there are things that I can... This stuff will come in handy. There's more Tinder, I guess. Look at, look at the quality of this paper. It's frozen like a rock. I guess. Um, what do we got in here? Oh, pff, here I am. I'm taking all this newspaper and we got firewood right here. Okay. Do I have a weight limit or something? Feels like three degrees Celsius for you Americans. That's it's about what it feels like right now in the real world. It's November. It feels, you know, it's no, no snow on the ground, but it's pretty cool. Um... Forage wood, log wood. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah. How much I can carry. Ah, uh, here we go. Capacity. 30 kilograms. Because I am... I am buff. Now, of course, I chose the woman character, the female character. As opposed to the guy character. <laughs> What's in here? Can I look? Dare I look? Um, and I don't really know why. I think I just... I respect... The female character more. I, know, I can't explain it. I just feel like it's it's a much bigger achievement to be this lone survivor woman in the in the middle of the Arctic or wherever we are. Oh, look at this. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What doesn't like the looks of it? Looks pretty good to me, but not very windproof. Okay, designed to keep the core warm, but minimal wind blocking. I'll take that. Can I put it on? Clothing. Oh, I'm wearing my long underwear. That's good. Uh, what do I got for a jacket right now? Nothing? Are you kidding me? I'm just out there in a sweater? Yeah, I'll wear that. Clearly. Uh, start a fire in the middle of this place here. Oh, a lantern. I think I can use this. Yeah, I'll equip it. Oh, here we go. Oh, cool. And I'm warmer because of it too, even. Search this. Oh, a wool hat, a toque, as us Canadians call useful? it. Uh, scrap bits, yeah. Take them. They can't weigh very much, can they? Okay, so I can extinguish this a little bit. 
probably to save. Do I have like a... I gotta look here. Bedroll, repair, log. Fire. What, what's in my log? Discovered a log in camp. Hmm. Ha. Forge wood. Start fire. And it's... I just heard something outside. I'm not even looking right now, but... A toque. I am wearing it. Basic wool hat. Oh, it would be worse. So I'm going to drop that. I think. Right? That makes it worse, right? Yeah. Um. Clothing. What, what am I looking at here? I was looking to see if there was like a... A fuel that I'm using up. Maybe if I go like... Material, tool, other... Bedroll, no. All. Am I using like a kerosene or a tinder or or something? Because I don't want to use too much of that fire. This one right here. I don't want to use too much of it if it's going to like wear out. Mm, you know what I mean? This will come in handy. Okay, looks like another bedroll. Another bed. I wish I could see outside the window to see, like, what could possibly be out there now. Because I have really no way of defending myself at this point. Especially if wolves, hungry wolves, are coming to kind of snoop around. Ah, oh, this game is just getting me... Ah, oh, a flare. Never know. Could end up being useful. Yes, indeed. Uh, this game is just getting me into the into the mindset too. It's just so awesome. Okay, an empty drawer. Sure took a long time to look through an empty drawer. Another. Ah, grape soda. Grape drank. I'll take it for when I'm thirsty. Was that a shotgun shell? Oh, an en energy Best bar. Be prepared for anything. Energy bar. Clearly not a shotgun shell. Okay, is that everything in here? I don't really see any weapons or tools that I can really use. Hmm. Reclaimed wood. Do I want to take this? This stuff will come in handy. Okay. So let's go outside. It's got to be getting almost to be nighttime now. Uh, how fast does the sun move? Doesn't appear to be moving very fast. I can put this out while I'm outside. Is there a quick way to, like, unequip this, too? I don't want to place it down. Uh. Equipment. Material. No. Tool. Oh, look at that! There's the fuel gauge. Uh-oh. Kerosene. Oh. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. There we go. I see. There's a... There's a holster button. So I can put away what I'm holding. That's kind of useful. Um, okay. So I didn't really find too much else at this... Sound of wolves. Way walking into a tree. I didn't find too much else at this logging camp, which is kind of disappointing. Um, the wind is starting to pick up too. There's a deer. Can't really do much with that yet. I know that later on you can actually hunt for some food. I'm gonna go this way. I'm kind of gonna follow the. The trail of logs. I don't know kind of where else to go, but I don't think climbing up a sheer rock face is what I would want to be doing right now. Uh, instead, I'm going to... Look at this deer. Yeah, you see me. Run away. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is following these logs. Hopefully, it'll lead me to another... Another something. I don't know. A, a village... Town, a house, a cabin, a 
a shack, a hunter's shack, something. I don't I don't know where I am gonna go. When I looked into this game to get this game, this experience more than a game, I didn't really want to spoil too much of it. I just kinda saw how the gameplay was and was like, oh yes. Need that now. So I got it and so I don't really know what different types of areas. Oh, come on. It's not that cold. I'm Canadian. It's not that cold. What is what is the temperature, anyway? Oh, minus 10 wind chill. So it feels like minus 13. That is that is cold. That is cold. But I am wearing a ski jacket. I mean, I shouldn't really be complaining too much. It's definitely the wind that's picking up, I think. Causing me to be cold. Oh man. Okay, what's over here? I'm actually getting some some snow blindness, which if you've ever seen snow, if you've ever been in snow like this, it does happen. That glare that you see, that bright glare effect. That really is how it kinda looks like. Oh, Hello, hold on. Let me get down. Ouch. Did it say train train landing area, loading area? A corpse? I was looking at that like, what's this body? I thought it was a doll. My god. Hmm. Okay. Small plug or bundle or flammable material required to start a fire. Okay, that's perfect. And now he's completely empty. Ravage, ravage deer. Estimated time takes a tool. Um, can I harvest any? Carcass more than 50% frozen cannot use bare hands. Okay. That's what requires tool means. So that guy wasn't very fortunate. Hopefully we don't meet the same same fate. Oh boy, I'm getting cold. I might have to actually stop and start a fire here. Um, see if I can find kind of like a little cave of some kind. Maybe this area here. I'm going to just start a fire to warm up. Let me just run. Run key. Okay, this isn't really protected though either. Well, it's probably better than nothing. Oh, I'm getting really cold. I am getting warmer though, it says. You can see in the bottom left. This little cave has made me a little bit warmer. Ugh, this cold is making my head feel thick. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna start a fire right away. Don't you worry. Invalid location. What? 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 Too far away to place the object. Wait, 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 wait. What do we do? Forage wood. Tinder. Estimated time: thirty minutes. Needs to harvest. Like, what do I got to do? I just made Tinder. But I still can't place... Oh! There we go. I placed it on my... I didn't want to do that, after all. Uh, let's go back to the cave. Okay, so I place it at my feet. And I... It says I'm freezing in the... In the right side there now, so... Okay. Start a fire. Can I place it at my feet? No. I had it a second ago. There we go. This will have to do. This will just have to do. I used reclaimed log. Wood matches. I got 12 of them. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Are you serious? That is exactly 
what I am about to say. Why did that happen? How do you fail to start a fire like that? Come on. My first fire and it fails. Probably because it was my first. There we go. Oh, yeah. I can see the cold going down now. Is there a way to, like, to crouch? Crouch down by the fire, maybe? There we go. There we go. I'm basically on the fire at this point. Feels like 10 degrees, which is nice and warm. Um to give Americans who don't know Celsius uh, kind of a good idea. 13 degrees or so would feel like a, a cool spring day. So that's not bad at all. Honestly. So good. If I stand up, does it... No, the conditions are still okay. So I don't need to crouch by the fire. What can I do in the meantime? Oh! I can harvest some stuff from clothing? But I'm wearing everything, obviously, but... That's really good. So how many... Okay, harvest all. There we go. Oh, this is cool. Tinder plug added. Might as well. I mean... There we go. Okay, and now the rest I'm wearing it. I don't want to just turn it into cloth. Alright. Look at my conditions. They're awesome. I'm going to eat something. Uh, how do I do that? Equipment. Food. The condition. Oh, that's the condition of that item. Hmm. I see. Not exactly what it does for me. It looks like food adds calories. Which is probably good. I'm just going to eat a candy bar. I saw my calories just shot up to 1337. I'm leet calories. My hunger is still... didn't really move. Okay. And I can't pick up any of those boards. Can't salvage anything from there. So let's walk this way. This is kind of like a... Do I choose the A path or the B path? Do I walk that way down the railway or this way down the railway? I do think that following a railway in a survival situation would probably be a smart move to make. I watched enough... Survival Man and Bear Grylls and stuff. To know that if you can find a road. Or some kind of a. Like maybe power lines or something. To follow them. And it will lead you somewhere. Civilization. Or at least somewhere that when you die from exposure people will find you. <laughs> it won't be terrible. But if there's been some kind of a geomagnetic disaster, maybe nobody would ever find me. Kind of like that poor soul over there. And I do see that it is getting much darker now. Ah, there's a, looks like, train car. That's maybe where I can spend the night. Because it is getting dark. How's my condition? Still getting kind of hungry. I'm now getting sort of thirsty. I can see now how you almost can't stop in a place for too long because you start gaining hunger and thirst and all of that kind of stuff. What is that? Is that something? Is that a carcass? Looks like another deer carcass, maybe. I do hear wolves around, so it's probably what caused it. 